Hey, what is up all my sweet potato pudding pops? I'm Starlord, and today's video is going to be centered around the settlement building mode that Bethesda introduces to in Fallout 4, and how they can possibly improve it in the future, or even if they decide to implement it into the Elder Scrolls series. Now I know there are a lot of people who really really hated the settlement building mode. It's pretty much a divided community in terms of this building mode because there were people who really loved it or people who just really fucking hated it. And from the community I've gathered that the majority of people really hated it because of the paid DLC and that was of course that three of the DLC packs in the season pass was actually for settlement building and a lot of people really disagreed with that, me included, but there is no denying that the settlement building mode was a huge success amongst the community. I mean a lot of people really loved it and if I was to choose love or hated, I would definitely say love it. It is definitely one of the best qualities of Fallout 4. Anyway guys, let's get on to ways that Bethesda can improve the next settlement building mode. Starting off with the first improvement, which is pretty much an obvious one, which is the introduction of a creative mode within the settlement building mode. Now what I mean by this is there must be like some kind of toggle option in the option menu that you can click on, it will disable all the achievements, but it will allow you to actually create to your heart's content without having to gather resources or using mods. Now the reason I am actually stating this particular improvement is because with with Fallout 4, we had to rely on either console commands or modders to allow us to have unlimited items and basically have a creative mode. So what I'm thinking along the lines of is something like Minecraft. You know when you play Minecraft, I guess for people who have played it, you know, you get two options. You get survival or you get the creative mode in which you get access to pretty much every block in the game. And another game that has recently just implemented implemented this is No Man's Sky. I don't know if you guys know about the big new update, but it actually adds in building to the game, in which allows you to toggle on the survival mode or a creative mode in which it gives you unlimited resources and no kind of boundaries on how you build, which is very very needed in these type of games. I mean, it's not really fun when you have to really, really work and grind for all of that kind of resources to create things. And that was partially one of the reasons why I went off building mode before the mods came out. I was really bored of it because I constantly had to go and get concrete, copper, uh, adhesive, which was just horrible to get. And it was just basically a grind. And Nobody wants that at all, like nobody wants that terrible grind that makes the game boring and it's pretty much one of the best kind of implemented features in Fallout 4 and we basically had to grind, like I said. So if Bethesda decide to implement the settlement building into the next game or a different game franchise, then this is definitely something I think they should at least consider. Some sort of toggle button in the menu in which you can click on and select a creative mode. Anyway guys, let's move on to my second improvement for settlement building. So this next improvement is kind of minuscule and I know a lot of people will find it stupid, feel free to comment if you do, but I believe that we should have had an option to paint or have colour schemes for our buildings. Uh, so what I mean by this is let's say you're playing a raider build or an evil build. Now typically you would have a lot of blood all around your settlement and I believe that let's say you wanted to put a concrete wall down, there should have been some sort of toggle menu that allowed you to click through different colors to place onto the wall. So let's say you wanted a red building block wall, you could actually go past the red, blue, green, select your color, your red color, and place it down. And in return for having color on your wall, it would take a resource of paint cans. You know the paint cans that you find around the game? You know the way you could pick them up and put them in your inventory? Well, yeah, why not use them as, you know, some sort of resource to allow color into your game? And um, I was kind of thinking about this early on in the game because I remember playing through the main missions and finding those paint cans and I was like holy shit you can actually paint walls in the game that's so sick you can make your settlements even better 
And then once I found out you couldn't, I was actually really pissed. I was like, well, what's the point in the paint? It's kind of stupid. Uh, so yeah, kind of like a small improvement, but I do believe that to give the player maximum creativity in their settlement and to tailor their settlement the way they want it, they should at least implement sort some sort of painting. I mean, two games that do this, again, No Man's Sky recently just made that update. You can actually tailor your buildings the way you want them. If you want a blue and red building, you can have it. It's pretty simple. And uh, like I said, Ark Survival Evolved. You could actually use berries to make dye and then paint your buildings. It was super cool. And I believe that the Fallout 4 should have had it. Unfortunately, it never but I believe that Bethesda should implement it in the next game. Anyway, let's move on to our third improvement. So for this next one, I am going to keep it short and sweet. It's basically a camp anywhere slash build anywhere option. And one example of this is a very awesome mod that somebody created that gives you camping equipment. And let's say that you want to camp in a cave overnight because there are dangers around you. You basically set up a little tent, a little fire, and it's super cool, super immersive. I honestly feel like they should implement this in the next game. The mods actually existed for Fallout 4 and Skyrim, and I played both of them, and I was like, holy shit, this should have been in the base game, it's so fucking cool. If you guys do want to check out that mod, the mod link will be in the description on Bethesda.net. Anyway, let's move on to our last improvement. Once again, I am going to keep this one short, but a recent Reddit post actually pointed out how none of the settlers pretty much know who you are, and they don't really appreciate what you do for them. And that really opens up my eyes after reading the post. Uh, so first of all, we got Marcy Long. Now, understandably, Marcy Long was in a bad mood, and that was understandable because of what happened. But then we got all of these new people coming to our sanctuary settlement, and pretty much not showing any appreciation for the food that you give them, the water supplies that you have, building all of these beds and houses around them, they pretty much just didn't give a shit about you. And yeah, I would just kind of like to see some kind of AI improvements in the next game, in terms of maybe a settler would come up towards you every now and then, give you a gift uh, to help you along the journey or something like that. You know, little things like that kind of make it feel like a real living community. Think along the same lines of uh, the communities in The Walking Dead, for example. You know, if you do something good for someone, you get something good back, normally. So, yeah, I would kind of like to see that in the next game. But as always, guys, if if you do agree or disagree with anything I said, any of the points that I have or improvements in this video, then please comment below. Even though I don't always comment back, I always do read the comments. Um, anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did then please remember to leave a like and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!